In these problems, we're dealing with some of the properties of logarithms. The first one here shows that if you have the log of a particular base, in this case base b, of two things multiplied by each other, you can express that as log base b of m plus log base b of n. So that's the same thing. And of course you can go either direction. If you see log base b of m plus log base b of n, you can rewrite it as log base b of m times n. Same thing goes for division, except instead of adding, it's subtraction. So log base b of something divided by something else is the same thing as log base b of that first thing minus log base b of that second thing. And finally, we have a property that deals with exponents. So the log base b of m to the n power can be rewritten as n times log base b of m. So I usually think of this as taking that exponent and putting it on the front and multiplying. So we're going to use these to uh, take a look at logarithmic expressions and kind of simplify them, uh, write them as a single expression, or sometimes to go the other way to take a single expression and expand it back out into its logarithmic form. Uh, so let's, let's try a couple of these. Which is the logarithmic written as a single expression? So what I, we've got is some multiplication here. We've got some addition and some subtraction. I think the first thing I'm going to do is deal with the parentheses here. So I'm going to multiply through this 4. So we'd end up with log base c of 8x plus 4 times the log base c of x minus 4 times the log base c of y. And the first power we're going to put in place is this 4 times the log of base c of x. We're going to make that the exponent, right? So we've got this form and we're going to turn it into this form. So this actually becomes log base c of x to the fourth and this one becomes whoops, log base c of y to the fourth and we've still got our log base c of 8x. Okay, now we've got some addition and some subtraction and remember with our logs, uh, log properties here the addition becomes multiplication, the subtraction becomes division. Let's deal with this subtraction first. So this chunk right here, we'll put our log base c of 8x still there, plus this actually becomes the log base c of x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. Sorry, x to the fourth over y to the fourth. So subtraction turns into division. Now addition turns into multiplication, so we can write all of this now as log base c of 8x times this thing. And when we do that, we get log base c of, well, 8x times x to the fourth would be 8x to the fifth over y to the fourth. And now we've written that thing as a single expression. All right, let's try another one. We're going to do the same thing here, try to write this as a single expression. We've got um, 3 times the log base 4 of x plus 5 times the log base, base 4 of x to the minus third. So I'm going to take these and turn them into exponents first. So that would become log base 4 of x to the third and log base 4 of x minus 3 to the fifth. And then we've got addition here. So this would simply be multiplying this part and this part. So we'd get the log base 4 of x to the third times x minus 3 to the fifth. And I don't think we're going to go any further with simplification there. So let's try one more where we go the opposite direction here. So this one says express in terms of logarithms of x, y, and z. So we want to separate this out. We've got a single expression. We want to separate it out. Well, you'll notice we have some division, right? So we've got a z to the third on the bottom that's dividing everything. So we could think of this as, well, let's separate it into two parts first. The top part would be log base a of 4xy to the third. And the bottom part would be minus log base a of z to the third. Now in here, we've got some multiplication. So we could separate that out and make it addition. So that would be log base a, well, I could take each piece, 4x and y to the third. So log base a of 4 plus log base a of x plus log base a of y to the third. And then we've still got our minus log base a of z to the third. It's getting pretty long here. And now I think the only thing to do now is to take these exponents and put them out front. 
with multiplication there. So this ends up being log base a of 4 plus log base a of x plus 3 log base a of y minus 3 log base a of z. And that's a little bit about dealing with the properties of logarithms.